Welcome to Zopa Stories. Prepare to embark on a chilling odyssey as I recount my own bone-chilling encounter, a paranormal experience that will leave you questioning the depths of your own apprehensions. If you've ever felt a shiver down your spine while swimming in open waters, join me on this riveting journey that unravels the eerie truths behind our deepest fears. Brace yourself for a tale that will send waves of both terror and fascination crashing over you. Make sure to remember to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated with all the new stories. By doing this, you won't miss out on any exciting content that is yet to come. Join our community of enthusiastic listeners and be the first to immerse yourself in the thrilling world of Zopa stories. Your support will keep the captivating contents coming and ensure that you're always in the loop for the next extraordinary chapter. So, don't wait. Click that like and subscribe button now. Paranormal Encounter at Shaver Lake I must confess, it's a bit embarrassing to admit that I never learned how to swim. The idea of immersing myself in its depths never held any particular appeals to me. However, during a sweltering summer trip to Shaver Lake, nestled within the breathtaking Sierra National Forest in Fresno County, an inexplicable and unsettling incident unfolded, forever reinforcing my fear of open water and the unknown. On that particular day, Due to the scorching summer heat wave enveloping Fresno County, my husband expressed a desire to join his cousins in search of relief. It was a welcome opportunity to escape the city and find comfort. After reaching our destination, we quickly identified a perfect spot and promptly set up a canopy, table, and supplies. The men took charge of grilling and entertaining with karaoke while the women diligently worked together to prepare the rest of the delicious dishes for everyone's enjoyment. As the day progressed, the warm sun cast its golden glow over the tranquil lake, and laughter filled the air. Amidst the joyful chatter and the gentle lapping of water, a sense of adventure began to stir among a few of the sisters-in-law. Their eyes sparkled with excitement as they expressed their longing to immerse themselves in the cool embrace of the lake and swim towards a magnificent rock that stood tall just a few feet deep. Whispers of daring plans to conquer the entire expanse of the lake floated through the air. Some even entertained the audacious idea of swimming all the way to the distant shore. As I observed their enthusiasm, I contemplated my own inclination to join them. A part of me hesitated, unsure about delving into the depths of the unknown. However, my sister-in-law my new, with her unwavering thoughtfulness, had anticipated such apprehension. She had come prepared, bringing along a collection of bright, buoyant life jackets. With a reassuring smile, she approached me and offered one, assuring me that even if I couldn't swim, the life jacket would serve as a reliable guardian, keeping me safely afloat. It wasn't a fear of my swimming abilities that held me back. Rather, it was the apprehension of the unknown lurking beneath the water's surface. However, I didn't want to let down my sisters-in-law so I mustered the courage to put on a life jacket and reluctantly joined them. Despite the nagging unease, I pushed myself to step outside my comfort zone and embrace the experience. As I dipped into the water, a sudden chill coursed through my entire being. Though the sensation gave me pause, I brushed it off. Perhaps it was simply a result of the stark contrast between the coolness of the water and the sweltering heat of the weather, causing my body to react in such a way. Taking deep breaths to calm my nerves, I immersed myself in the experience. 
I could feel the delicate ripples of the water gently caressing my skin, while a refreshing coolness enveloped me. As I ventured further, the sounds of laughter and splashing grew louder, creating a vibrant atmosphere. With each stroke, the rock ahead drew nearer, heightening the anticipation. The contagious sense of camaraderie among my sisters-in-law infused the air with an electric energy, amplifying the excitement of the moment. Once we reached the massive rock, we perched upon its weathered surface, basking in the glory of our shared achievement. Laughter and jubilation filled the air as we playfully climbed and leaped from its sturdy form, reveling in the pure joy of our exploits. We surrender ourselves to the gentle embrace of the water, floating effortlessly and savoring the peaceful interlude. Time seemed to stand still as we lingered, waiting until each member of our group felt ready to make our way back to the shore. As our time for fun began to wind down, we commenced our swim back to shore. To my dismay, I noticed that everyone else seemed to effortlessly glide through the water at an astonishing pace, making it challenging for me to keep up. The serenity of the current offered little solace, as an unexplained force appeared determined to anchor me down, impeding my progress despite my best efforts to paddle vigorously. With each stroke, my limbs grew heavier, my muscles weary, and doubt insidiously crept into my thoughts, tempting me to succumb to exhaustion. Nevertheless, I found comfort in the unwavering presence of the life jacket securely embracing my body, its reassuring presence warding off the looming threat of sinking beneath the surface. As I gasped for breath and grappled with the challenge, I was abruptly halted by a sudden, swift swirl around my body holding me in place. Intrigued and slightly unnerved, I peered into the crystal clear water, scanning for any visible cause, only to find an absence of fish or any discernible movement beneath the surface. The puzzling sensation deepened, leaving me perplexed. Seeking validation, I turned to the other ladies and questioned if they too had experienced a similar phenomenon. Their response was one of playful banter and teasing, laughter resonating through the air. Though I joined in the lightheartedness at the surface, an inscrutable heaviness persisted within me, occupying my thoughts. With unwavering determination, I pressed on, pushing through the water, yet the weight remained an enigma, defying my understanding. As my sisters-in-law surged ahead, the distance between us gradually widened, pushing me to exert myself even more to keep up. The return journey, which had initially seemed short, now felt like an endless and grueling ordeal. My muscles ached with exhaustion, and the temptation to give up and let go became stronger with each passing moment. The pressure against my body grew making it harder for me to breathe. And I couldn't help, but wonder what was weighing me down, keeping me tethered to the water. However, out of the blue, my sister-in-law my new appeared, extending a helping hand to guide me through the remaining distance. Although I was convinced that I was okay, I couldn't comprehend what was happening to me that day. My new continued to encourage and support me, urging me to persevere as we drew closer to the shore. Finally, when we reached the end, exhaustion consumed me, and I had no energy left to participate in any further activities. Settling into my chair, I watched as the others played and reveled in the day's festivities, yet I couldn't shake off the feeling of shortness of breath. As my eyelids grew heavy, I stretched out on the beach carpet we had laid on the sand, and I drifted off into a deep sleep. I remained aware of everything happening around me as I slept, 
from the sound of chatter and laughter to the approaching footsteps of my husband. I felt his hand touch my forehead, checking on my well-being. Although I wasn't fully present, I still managed to respond with a reassuring nod. This sensation felt strange to me, as if I was in a dreamlike state. Sensing my need for rest, my husband tenderly covered me with a blanket before leaving me to find comfort. As soon as my husband left, I felt an arm envelop me, followed by a warm breath against my neck, sending a chill down my spine. Panic set in as I tried to move, only to find myself trapped in a nightmarish paralysis. The arms held me tighter, constricting my chest and making it difficult to breathe. Every attempt to break free felt futile, as if invisible restraints were holding me back. The uninvited embrace left me feeling unsure of what was happening. Struggling to see my surroundings, I saw only darkness engulfing me. The persistent ringing in my ears grew louder, and my senses became distorted, adding to my mounting sense of terror. The weight of the arms grew heavier, filling me with dread. As I fought to regain control, a voice whispered in my ear, sending shivers down my spine. The words were indiscernible, and the voice was unfamiliar, leaving me feeling trapped and powerless. My mind became a tempest of fear and confusion, a swirling storm threatening to devour my sanity. I found myself trapped within an inescapable labyrinth of darkness, devoid of any guiding light or clear path. My mind raced with fear and confusion. Desperation consumed me, as I longed to break free from the clutches of this mysterious presence. Just as despair threatened to engulf me entirely, a stroke of luck intervened. In an unexpected turn of events, my raised knee abruptly fell, jolting me awake from the nightmare and allowing me to escape its grip. Relief flooded over me like a rushing tide, washing away the remnants of the lingering dread. I gasped for air, my heart pounding in my chest, as the cold sweat on my brow turned to a chilling shiver of realization. I had escaped, at least for now, from the clutches of that mysterious presence. I found myself perplexed as to why fate had singled me out for such a harrowing encounter. The experience served as an undeniable confirmation that there exists a realm beyond the limitations of our mortal vision. It was a revelation that urged me to place unwavering trust in my instincts, as they hold a wisdom that surpasses rational questioning. Looking back on that unforgettable day, I'm incredibly grateful that I came out of it unharmed. It's hard to imagine what could have happened if my raised knee hadn't woken me up. Thankfully, the entity from the depths of the lake, whatever it may be, did not have the fortune of claiming me as its victim. For this, I am filled with immense gratitude. The fear I experienced during that encounter is beyond words. As a result, I've decided to steer clear of swimming in open water altogether. Instead, I find serenity and happiness by staying on the shore, where I can appreciate the beauty around me in a safe environment.